Hello, it's Mila from Hacky Russian, and I'm here to help you learn Russian language easy, fast, and with lots of fun. In this video, I'm going to share with you a great tip on how to pronounce Russian words with a hard sign. If you haven't watched my previous video on how to pronounce a Russian soft sign, I really recommend you to watch it if you have some troubles pronouncing a soft sign in Russian words. By the way, this video is a part of my new pronunciation course that will help you not only to improve your pronunciation and to sound more natural, but also to improve your comprehension and to better understand fast spoken speech in Russian. And I have a surprise for my loyal subscribers. You can find a link to this course completely for free in the description, but be quick because the number of places is limited. So now let's talk about a Russian hard sign. I know that many foreigners find it really useless and cannot understand how to pronounce Russian words with a hard sign if it doesn't have a sound. And yes, unlike a soft sign that I told you has a very slight sound when we pronounce it in words, a Russian hard sign doesn't have any sound at all. And that's even better, because you don't even need to pronounce it. But before telling you how to properly pronounce Russian words with a hard sign, I want to share some interesting historical facts about a hard sign. If you don't want to hear the whole story, you can skip directly to this tip. So let's return to the past, when a Russian hard sign actually was a vowel, just like a Russian soft sign. Before the 12th century, a Russian hard sign actually had a sound, and it was a very short sound U. U. After time, it was transformed into a very short sound O. O. And it was called YER. YER. Do you remember I told you that a soft sign was called YERI, and a hard sign was called YER? Unlike nowadays, in the past, a Russian hard sign had a very important function in Russian language. It indicated a gender of Russian nouns. So, if a noun had a hard sign in the end, it was a noun of a masculine gender. And as you can imagine, there are lots of Russian nouns of a masculine gender. So, after time, people started to realize that it took too much space in printed materials. So, for example, in a very famous Russian novel War and Peace, Vaina i Mir, written by Leo Tolstoy, they calculated that only separately this hard sign made 70 pages out of 2080. Can you imagine it? 70 pages only for this letter. Well, in the past it was a letter. So, just for this symbol, if you can say so. And in the beginning of the 20th century, the Bolsheviks decided to get rid of this letter year in the end of words. But they still kept it in the middle of words to serve as a divider between letters. And they decided to call it Tvordi Znak a hard sign. So, why do we need this hard sign in Russian language? A hard sign serves as a divider and makes a slight pause between two letters. I don't really like this explanation, because it makes it only harder for foreigners to understand how to pronounce this hard sign that doesn't have a sound, so we need to make a pause, a pause, you probably already heard that there are not so many words with a hard sign in Russian language. And the good news is that in all these words, a hard sign is followed by one of these vowels. Ye, yo, you, ya. Only one of these vowels. And they are the key to pronouncing a Russian hard sign. These four vowels, ye, yo, yu, ya, are really tricky. They are letters and not sounds, which is really important to understand, actually, and I will talk about this in my next video. 
And for the moment, I will explain you how exactly they act when they stand after a Russian heart sign. So when these vowels ye, yo, yu, ya stand after a Russian heart sign, they will be pronounced as a combination of two sounds. Ye is a combination of y and e. Ye. Yo is a combination of y and o. Yo. You is a combination of y and u. You. And ya is a combination of y and a. Ya. And this y sound is actually a key to pronouncing a Russian heart sign. That is why I told you that you don't even need to do anything in order to pronounce this heart sign. Because, well, you just need to pronounce these letters as they are. A quick disclaimer, in the next video I will show you when exactly these vowels are pronounced without this sound Y. Now let's practice. Look at these two words. Сесть, to sit down, сесть, and съесть, съесть, to eat, сесть, съесть, сесть, съесть. Do you hear the difference? In the first word, I pronounce this vowel е, с, е, with a softened с. Сесть, сесть, But in the second word, съесть, 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 you can clearly hear this sound y, y, because we have this vowel y that stands just after a hard sign, and that is why we need to pronounce it with a combination of sounds y and e. Съесть. Съесть. This is really important to differentiate these two words with a hard sign, because otherwise, if, for example, you want to eat something, but you say, я хочу сесть это, я хочу сесть это, I want to sit down this, well, it will be really funny for Russian natives, but, of course, I believe that probably they will understand you. Let's look at some other common words with a hard sign. Объявление. 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 So in this word we have a vowel ya coming after a hard sign. And normally it should be pronounced as a combination of two sounds y and a. And as you can see, I wrote it as y e. Why? Why is it like this? Well, it's actually another rule about the stress and about unstressed vowels. In this case, in this word объявление, we have this vowel ya in unstressed position. So this is another topic and another rule about unstressed Russian vowels. And if you want, I explain all this in details in my new pronunciation course where you will find all possible and impossible rules about Russian pronunciation. Next word is объект. 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 In this case, we have a vowel е, and it's pronounced as a combination of y and e. Объект. Объект. Next is the word субъект. Субъект. And the last word is объяснять. 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 Again, here you can notice that this letter ya is not pronounced as y a but as y e because it stands in the unstressed position. And there are lots of other important words with a hard sign like подъезд, объезд, подъехать, объятия, and so on. So, as you can see, it's really that easy to pronounce Russian words with a hard sign. And you shouldn't ignore these words. You shouldn't be afraid to pronounce words with a hard sign. Because it is really that simple. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. 
This way you are helping other Russian language learners discover this video. And in my next video I will share with you the biggest mistake of Russian language learners. See you next time! Пока-пока!